Hi, I'm here today with my colleague Christine to show you how to perform and teach uh, manual bilateral. So we're going to start with using your hand first. And what you want to do as the therapist when you're using your hand is make sure that you're using your non-dominant hand so that you can use your dominant hand to write and take notes between sets. So for me, um, that's going to be my right hand. And so when you put your hand up to do the bilateral manual, I want you to first make sure that your shoulder is down and your neck and shoulder are relaxed. We don't want a lot of tension there to cause stress in your body. Your elbow is face down. And if I turn to the side, you'll notice that my forearm is at about a 45 degree angle and my wrist is flexed up so that I'm not pointing my fingers into my client's face. So shoulder and elbow down and relaxed, forearm at a 45 degree angle, and the hand flexed. And my fingers are pretty still and quiet. When I do this, I'm going to begin in the center and move all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and try and keep an even space from center and left and center to right so that it's an even scope. And I'm gonna keep my fingers horizontal and avoid the windshield wipers. It's too much stress on your client's eyes and really we just need them to be tracking left and right, okay? So I'll show you what this looks like and how I would teach it to Christine. I'm gonna turn and face her and I'm going to be off to her side. I'm not directly in front of her. The phrase we use is ships in the night. And so I'm gonna first check in with my client, Christine, uh, who's actually a colleague, but has volunteered to help out today, so thank you. I'm gonna check in and ask, is this a comfortable distance for you? Yeah. Okay, okay perfect. So what I want you to do, Christine, is I want you to hold your chin and, and head still and just let your eyes follow my fingers all the way to the right, all the way to the left. So I'll start in the middle and I'll move and I'm watching that her eyes are tracking all the way across the midline as far as they go. And then I'm gonna end in the center again, okay? And I'll show you what one pass looks like. I'm gonna start in the middle, go left, right, center is one pass. So if you were doing a set of say four to six passes for a resource like Complace, I would do that four times. One, two, three, four, and then rest. How was that for you? Great, good, comfortable, mm -hmm. wonderful. And you do wanna check in with your client when you're teaching them bilateral, whether you're using a manual or you're using a remote tool or a light bar to make sure that they're comfortable with the eye movement. In addition to um, doing horizontal hand movements, we can also do diagonal hand movements. Again, you start in the middle, shoulder, elbow down, hand cocked, so my wrist is flexed. And I'm gonna start in the middle and go up and down on a diagonal is one option, ending in the middle. Or you can reverse the diagonal as a different option where you come in the opposite direction. Alternatively, if your client has trouble tracking your fingers as they're moving back and forth, you could also use snaps. So what it would do, what it would look like is I'm going to still sit off to the side of Christine and instead of following, I'm just going to have you hold your head still again and just notice the snap sound, let your eyes follow to the snaps. And her eyes are moving left and right. If I don't want to use the sound, I can just have her follow my fingers. And if you're working with kiddos and you have hand puppets, this is kind of a fun idea for them just to watch the alternating hand puppets. Um, I think that's all for the manual. I wanna show you how to do this with a wand. And it's, it's roughly the same action. The only benefit with the wand is that you don't have to move your upper arm as much. So my hand gets to drop down a little lower. I'm still keeping this nice and relaxed and I'm just gonna let the wand move left and right. I'm gonna keep the same distance from the tip of the wand to Christine as I did my fingers. So this is gonna allow me to back up a bit and not sit as close to her. And so I'll have you do the same thing. Just notice the ball and follow it with your eyes. How is that? I like fingers better, but you know, 
the whatever that is ping pong ball my ping pong ball yeah. it works yeah. yeah absolutely and that's the other thing it's nice to give your clients you know teach them a few options and see what they prefer but one thing we want to stress is once you find that something that works for your client you don't necessarily alternate right if you stay horiz if you start horizontal you're going to stay horizontal unless you need to make a change all right i think that's all did we hit all of our points sounds great all right wonderful hope you enjoyed the demo